Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we're gonna be checking out the greatest Star Wars movie that was ever made. Now, I know I know that's a statement. That's, a, that's an intense statement right there. It's gonna tickle some people's gooches. But according to Rotten Tomatoes, this had a 95% score and a 97% audience score. And that's just a score you don't see too often. I mean, you literally have a higher probability of watching Joe Biden beat Lance Armstrong in a bike race. Sorry to go political, it's just, it's just what popped into my head. Don't believe the lies, deceit. I can be more than a rumor. I'm so excited for today, dude. Episode four was so good that I, I literally couldn't wait to get to the next one. This is just a journey that I'm so excited to take with you guys. I'm not even gonna talk anymore because I just wanna dive into the movie. So if you guys want the early release full length movie reactions to these Star Wars movies, I'm gonna leave the link to the Patreon down below. You can check out all that content for yourself. But right now, I don't know why I snapped. We're gonna be checking out Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so excited. I'm so excited! I guess we're gonna see if my statement at the beginning of this movie was in fact true. We're gonna see if this was the greatest Star Wars movie ever made. Actually, I've already learned that there is no consensus with Star Wars fans. Nobody can agree on anything. And it is the most loving, most toxic fan base there is out of cinema history. So yeah. And if these are the videos that bring you to the channel and this is the first time you're watching my content, welcome, hit that subscribe button. Or if you don't, you could hit your gooch. I don't care. All right, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Dude, this, just reading that gets me amped up. I strategically make these videos when my wife is out of the house. The evil lord, Darth Vader, obsessed with finding young Skywalker, has dispatched thousands of remote probes into the far reaches of space. Dude, it's the same effect as Harry Potter for me, but I feel like it's gonna be even more intense, but just the fact that hearing the music just like fills you with happiness, right? And excitement. I'm pumped. Okay, need to chill the fuck out. Let's go. Okay, those are all the damn probes Vader's sending out into space. Oh shit. It's a little kangaroo wombat. Big ass kangaroo wombat. There's a meteorite that hit the ground near here. I want to check it out. <laughs> it's not a meteorite. It's a damn anal probe. Can you smell something? Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking demon yeti just whipped out of nowhere. <laughs> I like how those things run. Ah! <laughs> It's so goofy, dude. So Chewie is like intelligent enough to actually work on equipment and shit. He's got like the mental capacity to do that. I don't know if he's smart as hell or he's just a crazy beast. Goldman! General, I gotta leave. I can't stay anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. You're a good fighter, Solo. I hate to lose you. Well, your highness, guess this is it. That's right. Don't get all mushy on me. So long, princess. <laughs> she didn't get mushy at all. She was like, yeah, that's right. It's the fucking end. I'll see you later. You want me to stay because of the way you feel about me? Yes! You're a great help to us. You're a natural leader. No! Fredo's gonna leave without giving you a goodbye kiss. I just assumed Oh. Me. I can arrange that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she supposed to be Han's girl or is she trying to suck Luke off? I don't know what's happening. Goldman and R2! But it's supposed yes! What do you want? Well, it's Princess Leia, sir. Master Luke. He hasn't come back yet. She doesn't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Might I inquire what's going on? Why not? It's possible he got fucking sucker punched by an ice monster. I think Master Luke is in considerable danger. Actually, Goldman's pessimism and his skepticism is spot on. We'll have to go out on Tauntaun. Sir, the temperature's dropping too rapidly. Tauntauns are the damn snow llamas, yeah? Okay. Ew. Ew, that fucking string. That's disgusting. <laughs> Savage beast? Swing! Oh, use the force. Hell yeah. 
That wasn't the greatest cutting off of an arm scene I've ever seen, but we'll cut it some slack. I love the snow llamas, dude. They're fucking funny. Don't say things like that. Of course we'll see Master Luke again. He'll be quite all right. You'll see. Stupid there you go. Sweet. Goldman's finally exhibiting a little positivity. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, that's so sad and cute though that R2's like scared that he's not gonna see Luke again. Your Highness, there's nothing more we can do tonight. The shield doors must be closed. Artu says the chances of survival are 725 to 1. <laughs> okay, shit ass Oz, that's not the right time to say that, I feel like. Don't worry about Master Luke, I'm sure he'll be alright. He's quite clever, you know, for a human being. <laughs> it just makes me so happy that like the one thing that I was talking shit about Goldman last movie was how pessimistic his ass was. But now he's actually really hopeful. It just makes me happy. I don't know. Ooh. Oh my God. Obi-Wan. You will go to the Dagobah system. Dagobah system. There you will learn from Yoda. <gasps> Jedi master who instructed me. We get to see Yoda this movie? Let's go! Oh, okay, now that's a true friendship right there. How many of y'all's friends would come rescue you from a damn blizzard if you were trapped out there? You have any friends that would do that? Would you do that for one of your friends? Ben. Uh, hang on, kid. <gasps> oh. What are you gonna put your hands in there? Oh my God, he's shoving them in the in the beast. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. That's like Jack London's to build a fire. Is that what it is? Where he kills his own dog and puts his hands in there? Oh. Captain Solo, do you copy? Good morning. I see you guys to drop by. I found them. Repeat. I found them. So clutch and so clutch. Oh, what the hell? What is dude doing in, in an aquarium wearing a diaper? Don't look so bad to me. Oh, he was, okay, he was getting like defrosted or in respect to health, okay. Looks like you managed to keep me around for a little while longer. I think you just can't bear to let a gorgeous guy like me out of your sight. <laughs> I know where you get your delusions, laser brain. <laughs> Chewy like that. <laughs> Are you stuck up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder? Who's scruffy-looking? <laughs> okay, guys, the insults. Y'all need to tone it up a little bit. Hey, you old shit-stained jabberwocky! I, I don't know. We'll let the insult slide. <gasps> oh! I knew she wanted him! <laughs> Luke's like, yeah. Now why don't you all skedaddle so I can get to work on Leia? There's something very weak coming through. Sir, this signal is not used by the Alliance. It could be an Imperial code. So just to get things straightened out, Imperial is synonymous with bad. That's Darth Vader. It's all the fucking dumbass stormtroopers. But also is when they say Empire, the Empire's bad as well. That's what I'm betting on. I think that's right. Right, there's not much left. What was it? Droid of some kind. An Imperial probe droid. It's a good bet the Empire knows we're here. Okay. Imperial and Empire equals bad. Got it. Okay. And this gotta be the Imperial dark ass music, right? Same music that they were playing in the first movie. You found something. Yes, my lord. That's it. Prepare your men. <laughs> it's just so cool because every single aspect of this movie, the good guys and the bad guys are so cool and well done that it's just fun to watch every single scene. Take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> Oh, he gave him scratches. It's so wholesome. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Be careful. You too. Admiral Oswald came out of light speed too close to the system. He's as clumsy as he is stupid. General, <laughs> He's clumsy and he's dumb as a stump. Damn, Vader. The fleet has moved out of light speed and we're preparing to... You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Wait, Vader's just suffocating him? Oh, shit. Just killing off his dudes. We about to see a battle. We about to see some crazy shit. Right now I feel like I take on the whole empire myself. <laughs> I know what you mean. 
Echo Station 5-7. We're on our way. All right, coming in. It doesn't ever look like the lasers when they hit something that they like sear through it and like fuck it up It really just looks like it's surface level and then maybe fuck something up on the inside So I don't know if that's oh well there you go I was gonna say I don't know if that's like the lack of CGI or if it's just what lasers do like if the armor is too strong Okay, I don't, I don't fucking know Hang on Dak, get ready to fire that tow cable ah! Dak. Dak. Oh shit Dak died? Wait. Lost my gunner. Coming around, world leader. Activate harpoon. We're gonna trip this little bastard. I, I mean, actually, big bastard. Detach cable. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but really funny. <laughs> B. Oh, I guess there are people in those imperial fucking weird stick walkers, or are they just robots? Did somebody just die right then? Take good care of Master Luke now, understand? And do take good care of yourself. Goldman's got total mom energy. It's like a mom that just wants to take care of all the kids. All troops will debark for ground assault. <laughs> what the hell was me. that? Was that a stormtrooper? It didn't look like a stormtrooper. He's all white. Oh God. I mean, those things don't look super agile. I feel like just run behind it, right? Your Highness, we must take this last transport. It's our only hope. Let's go. He's gonna hijack one of those things. Oh, he's blowing it up. <laughs> Damn. Maximum firepower. So is it just pure revenge that Darth Vader's after? He's obviously pissed at Luke for destroying the Death Star. He just wants to find Luke and, and kill him for retaliation, for revenge? Or does he want something more from him? Oh shit! Let's go! Whips out the turret from her undercarriage? Oh, they got their own turret. Well, what the hell are y'all gonna do about Luke? There's nothing wrong, R2. Just setting a new course. Going to where Ben told him to go. We're going to the Dagobah system. To learn from Yoda! <laughs> Shut your ass up, Goldman! We got him coming! What if he has the answer? What if he's gonna tell you how to destroy them? Prepare to make the jump to light speed. But, sir! It's impossible to go to light speed. We're in trouble. <laughs> you should have listened to him from the jump. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this one. Okay, this is giving me some severe anxiety. That wasn't a laser blast. Something hit us. Han, get up here. Ask Oh, shit. You're not actually going into an asteroid field. They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? Dude, y'all gotta be ducking and diving now. A little Muhammad Ali action. 3,720 to one. Never tell me the odds. Nice. Nice. Oh. We're going in closer to one of the big ones. Closer? Closer. Nice! Yeah. You'll do nice. Yep, that's it. Dagobah. Dagobah, okay. I'm sure it's perfectly safe for droids. Now, whenever I'm looking and watching R2 communicate and operate, I've only seen one other R2 system. That was the beginning of the first movie, or the fourth movie. But in my mind, I'm feeling like R2-D2 is levels above other R2 units in terms of intelligence. And He seems to have, like, emotion and intelligence and general curiosity and wonderment. Like, I don't know if every R2 unit is like that or if he's far more advanced, but that's where my mind goes. Maybe I'm looking into it too much. I don't know. R2? Oh, shit! Grab him! Can he swim? What, did you dive in after him? Oh, he can swim! <laughs> uh, how do you show R2 affection? Probably doesn't like scratches, but I want to scratch him.
Beep, 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 beep. Oh, goddamn Nessie in the waters, dude. Luke, I... What the hell? I understand Luke's skepticism in terms of like refraining back, but it's R2-D2! Shoot your gun in the water at least. I don't know. What are we doing here? You're looking for Yoda. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Oh, God. Is that mud or is that... Monster shit. Oh, what is up with his fucked up ass testicle head, dude? I want that ship, not excuses. Oh. I need to hold on to your knockies for security. Hold on. Being held by you isn't quite enough to get me excited. Yeah, you're no Luke. I haven't got time for anything else. What? A little sexual harassment that I sense? Nah, maybe in today's soft ass day and age. Now all I gotta do is find this Yoda. If he even exists. Oh, he exists. I'm psyched to see where he's been hiding now. Don't be familiar about such place. I feel like. Be like what? <laughs> like we're being watched. I mean you no know harm. <laughs> Yoda! Help do I can. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> He's so cute, but so disgustingly ugly, but so cute. Hey, dinner. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> if I want my lamp back. I'm gonna need it to get out of this slimy mud hole. My home, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking for a friend. I'm looking for a Jedi Master. Jedi Master, Yoda. You seek Yoda. You know him? <laughs> I am him, bitch. Without knowing who Yoda is, the way that he acts, he's either batshit crazy or the most genius person on the planet. Well, I guess if maybe he's the only person on that planet. I don't know with locations and planets and settings in this world so far, I I'm not sure. Whether the people in this movie are a princess, a fighter, a Wookiee, a fucking robot, they all know how to work on ships and have technical skills. Come on, admit it. Sometimes you think I'm all right. When you aren't acting like a scoundrel. <laughs> scoundrel? I like the sound of that. Stop that. Stop what? My hands are dirty. Well, you're not the only thing that's dirty now, mama. Ew. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. There aren't enough scoundrels in your life. Like nice man. You are gaslighting the hell out of her. Oh, wait, she just kissed Luke. What is this weird love triangle thing we got going on? Okay. Yes, Admiral, what is it? The Emperor commands you to make contact with him. So is Darth Vader the top in terms of the chain of command or is the Emperor above Darth Vader? Because Lord and Emperor, I feel like Emperor is above and then Lord, not, not positive. Okay, well, he's kneeling. Okay. What is thy bidding, my master? Okay, well, there's the answer. The young rebel who destroyed the Death Star. This boy is the offspring of Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. Son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. <laughs> well, too damn late, because he's with Yoda right now. He will join us or die, master. Your master's got some wrinkly ass skin. Someone get the master some lubriderm. Why wish you become Jedi? Hmm? Mostly because of my father, I guess. Ah, uh, for Jedi was he. How could you know my father? You don't even know who I am. Much anger in him. Like his father, he is not ready. Yoda, I am ready. I, Ben, I, I can be a Jedi. Ben, tell him I'm ready. Luke, you can't wait for your soup to cool down, dude. Be patient. <laughs> Long time have I watched. Never his mind on where he was, what he was doing. I'm getting total, a hundred percent Mr. Miyagi vibes from Yoda. It's great. I won't fail you. I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's terrifying. But so cool. Ah, uh, dude, I'm excited. I hope there's a training montage. Yeah, and it's disgusting. I think it might be better if I stay behind and guard the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Brown 
sure feels strange. It's probably not rock. What are you, in something's mouth? I have a bad feeling about this. If I are still out there, I don't think it's right. trying to discuss this to committee. I am not a committee! <laughs> They already have so much back and forth banter like an old married couple. Y'all act like you've been married for 65 years. No. I see it, I see it. The cave is collapsing. Oh shit, they were in okay. something's mouth. Oh. Ew, what kind of dick shaped monster was that? <laughs> Yoda just strapped onto his back. So cute. Oh, was that flip necessary? What are you parkouring around for? Is the dark side stronger? No, but the busier, more seductive. <laughs> but how am I to know the good side from the bad? Oh, you know it. I mean, that's just a life lesson right here. Star Wars out here teaching people how to live life properly. The darkness is the easy thing in life to con that will consume you and you lead you down the path of fucked upness and treachery. It's way harder to choose the good thing in life. It really is. There's something not right. That place is strong. The dark side of the force. What's in there? Only what you take with you. What's in there? Only what you take with you. Oh god, it's got snakes and shit crawling up there? Total like hell and devil symbolism, right? Or am I making that more religious than it needs to be? All these reptiles, snakes, serpents, fucking lizards. The cold blooded darkness. What? No, that's not actually him, is it? <laughs> Alright, the slow- Oh she he just beheaded him! No, that's not real. It would be way more of an intense moment if he actually beheaded Darth Vader, right? Wait, that's him? Wait, it shows his potential to be dark? The dark version of him that he just defeated? It's symbolic? Am I making this more complicated? Fuck you. Watch the film. Okay. And that slow motion ass fight scene, again, not a great fight scene, but I believe this movie was put out in 1980, so it totally gets a pass. But, I don't know. It'd be cool to see a fight scene that was made now. My lord. We have them. But Vader wouldn't be happy with these guys. He wants Luke. Unless he was happy that having these guys would make Luke come to him. Sir, the odds of surviving a direct assault on an Imperial Star Destroyer. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just gets pissed at Goldman. Shut your ass up! God. Captain Nita, the ship no longer appears on our scopes. Can't have disappeared. Captain, Lord Vader demands an update on the pursuit. Oh god. You better give him something or he's gonna choke you out, dude. I shall assume full responsibility for losing them and apologize to Lord Vader. An apology's not gonna do anything. He's gonna squeeze your vertebrae till it snaps. Who's the force? Oh! Oh! <laughs> we'll never get it out now. So certain are you. Master, moving stones around <laughs> is one thing. This is totally different. Only different in your mind. Alright, I'll give it a try. No! Try not! Do! Or do not! I love Yoda, dude! No and I really like the way that he speaks when he takes the sentences and he like puts the subject at the end and just kind of, you know, switches the way that he talks. I, I believe from a grammatical perspective, again, there's me talking about grammar again, that's called an anastrophe. I don't know. Not that y'all give a fuck. I can't. It's too big. Size matters not. Look at me. Judge me by my size, do you? <laughs> you want the impossible. <laughs> Luke, stop being so pessimistic. It's obviously possible, otherwise he wouldn't be trying to waste his time teaching you how to do it. Let's go! That's right, Luke. Why don't you just continue to sit down and say, I'll never be able to move it! <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> yeah! I don't believe it. That is why you fail. He's so wise. Imagine they do a training montage to the damn Pokemon theme song. Aaron, let's do a super quick Pokemon training montage. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. Don't fail me again. 
God, Darth Vader is intimidating, dude. Going to him with bad news must be the scariest thing to do. This time you have gone too far. No, I will not be quiet, Chewbacca. Why doesn't anyone listen? <laughs> you Chewie, shut your ass up, Goldman! Everybody! <laughs> That's ridiculous. Brief circumstances, the Empire may be gracious enough. Thank you. What's even more your next move? This is interesting. Lando. Who the hell is Lando? Scoundrel, you'd like him. <laughs> you have your moments. Not many of them, but you do have them. Leia's out here kissing everybody, dude. Who do you want, Leia? My God. It's like she just kisses whoever's around. He's forcing R2 up! Leia! <laughs> Was that R2 screaming? I saw a city in the clouds. It is the future you see. Oh shit, he can tell the future from using the force? I've gotta go to them. If you leave now, help them you could, but you will destroy all for which they have fought and suffered. Plus, are you finished with your training? Doesn't seem like it. Well, that was a long time ago. I'm sure he's forgotten about that. Forgotten about what? What did you do? What did you do, Han? Something tells me you fucked his girlfriend or something. I don't know. Oh, no one to meet us. Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. Which probably means everything's not gonna be fine. <laughs> Got a lot of guts coming here. After what you pulled. What did he do? <laughs> oh. Well, he seems very friendly. <laughs> yes. A little too friendly. Hello, what have we here? <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody wants to break off a piece of Leia's ass. I am c 3 po human cyborg relations. My facilities are at you. <laughs> What's wrong with the phone? It's so sad. Okay, so far so good. I guess they are friends. Just that friendly back and forth talking Ooh, shit. Nice Which to see a familiar face. Is this a woman? How rude. Wait, we got a, a Silverman and oh, another R2. Oh, oh, uh, oh! What the fuck? That is not the death of Goldman. That is not the death of Goldman, is it? You must not go. But Han and Leia will die if I don't. You don't know that. To Obi-Wan, you listen. Master Yoda, I promise to return and finish what I've begun. You have my <laughs> Luke, word. Luke, you cannot make that promise, dude. Listen to Yoda. What makes you think you know better than a Jedi Master? <sighs> This is extremely frustrating. Luke, you're gonna get your time. Just chill, dude. Stay. R2, fire up the converter. What a dumbass. You have the two most intelligent fucking wizard-like people in front of you telling you the same thing. Do not defy them. And I'll return, I promise. Again, that's a stupid ass promise because everybody knows you can't make promises like that. That boy is our last hope. No, there is another. Oh. Unless Luke goes to protect them and then comes back not joining the dark side and proves himself to be like the most badass potential Jedi that there could be. He could prove himself. He could also go down a destructive path. I guess we'll see. I mean, y'all already know. I, I don't know jack shit. Soon be gone. And then you're as good as gone, aren't you? <laughs> I wish what somebody would just make a move, dude. Like, oh, wait, you little snout-nosed deviant. Oh, I'm sure he's trying to save him. Hey, you little bastards! Stop playing hot potato with Goldman. Sorry, am I interrupting anything? Yeah, we don't trust men with a mustache like that with no beard. Would you join me for a little refreshment? He, cre he disgusts me, dude. I feel like he smells like cinnamon and wet farts. I've just made a deal that'll keep the Empire out of here forever. Oh, shit! Oh my god, dude. Fuck you, mustache! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Han, don't apologize. I mean, all you had was a bunch of stormtroopers behind you. We know that they can't aim or shit. Fucking Helen Keller is a better shot. So I guess it really doesn't matter what happens to Goldman. Like, you can always put him back together. Unless he's, like, melted or something. What the hell is that?
Oh, God. They must never again leave this city. That was never a condition of our agreement. Perhaps you think you're being treated unfairly? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Sense the tone, Vader. What have you done? I'm backward. You think you're a muffhead like you would be stupid Hey! Hey, dude! He's trying to put you back together, jackass! Be nice. Okay, what the hell happened to you, Han? What do they do? Not surprised there's another kiss right there. You okay, Han? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's after somebody called a uh, Skywalker. Luke. Lord Vader set a trap for him. Yes, that's what we were talking about earlier on in the movie, okay? Stop! Wait, now it actually kind of seems like he's trying to help. I'm sorry, I couldn't do better, but I got my own problems. Okay, so let's be objective, right? Like, what was Mustache supposed to do? Darth Vader comes there right before him and, like, tells him what to do? Like, what other option did he truly have? We only use this facility for carbon freezing. You put him in there, it might kill him. We will test it on Captain Solo. Oh! Oh! Why don't you test it on one of those little snout-nosed grunt pigs? If only you detached my legs, I wouldn't be in this ridiculous position. <laughs> He's a backpack. <laughs> What's going on? You're being put into carbon freeze. The princess, you have to take care of her. God. Oh! Okay. Well, oh! Leia! It was always Han? I thought her and Luke were gonna have a little uh, seductive action going on. Guess not. God, I really hope nothing bad happens to him. Wait, what the fuck is that? <gasps> oh God, that does not look good. Did he survive? Yes, he's alive. Wait, how do you know? And in perfect hibernation. He's all yours. It worked! I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Fader, you suck, dude. I mean, I feel like you're probably one of the most powerful beings in this entire universe, so there's that. I mean, who's gonna stop you? Except Luke, maybe. Let's hope. We know Luke's not gonna listen. He hasn't listened to any good advice this movie. <gasps> no. To be honest, I'm more scared something's gonna happen to R2 than I am Luke. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. You are not a Jedi yet. My prediction, is he gonna tell Vader that he's gonna be on the dark side so that he's on their side and then fucking do some tomfoolery and, and be like, nah, psych! Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh God. Luke, you're not ready for this, dude. Okay, so far, very anticlimactic fight scene. <laughs> but I feel like it does show Vader's power that so far we've only seen him fight with a lightsaber with one hand. Luke right now is using two, so it's like it showcases maybe how much more powerful he is than a lot of other people. I'm not sure. Getting out of here. <laughs> Just try it out. I don't need any of your help. Well, it looks like you needed him to uncuff you guys. Best of a chance to save half. Chewie, let him go! Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. I'm really impressed with the pacing of these, of both movies that we've watched so far. They've been like decently long over two hours, but it's like they feel so short because it does an excellent job of pacing, which is really impressive for an older movie, in my opinion. Oh God, it's too late. <laughs> they can't shoot worse shit. Stormtroopers are precise my ass. I don't think I've seen them hit anything. Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. Just, oh shit, what the hell? Just tell him you'll join the- wait, what? He just shot out! Impressive. Most impressive. Let's go! Only your hatred can destroy me. Nah, he's lying to you. He's trying to get you down the dark side. I <laughs> Kind of funny how there's like, not super intense music and Vader falls, he's just like, oh! Oh shit! Vader wouldn't kill him though, right? Because he wants him to join the dark side. So what the hell is he doing? 
<laughs> what a trash shot, dude. Oh my god. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, my ass, Goldman. Stormtroopers are worthless, dude. My grandma's a better shot. Uh, yeah, I felt it, but fuck. Okay, well, there we go. Vader's fighting with two hands now, so there goes my theory. Oh, shit! Cut his fucking hand off? Join me, and I will complete your training. I think that's a fantastic idea. You should allow him to train you so you know how the enemy trains. And then you should say, all right, yeah, fuck this dude. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Luke, I am your father. No shit. Oh my god, dude. That gave me chills, dude. Oh my god. I I don't know how the fuck I did not put that together. Luke, I am your father. No shit. He can rule the galaxy as father and son. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> that should have been something that I, I, I figured out before this point. That's pretty fucking sad on my part. <gasps> oh my gosh. But I, I just know, I just knew of the line though, but I don't know the actual story. Is, did Vader say that he's his father to like distract him or am I again making things way more complicated than they need to be? Leia. Oh my God. Now he can talk to them telepathically or force, forcibly. He can talk to people through the force. Wait, I'm trying to understand what happens if Darth Vader is actually Luke's dad. So that is that why Luke's aunt and uncle did not say anything about his father? If they said that his father died, then maybe there would be the situation where Luke didn't want to go pursue his father and then join the dark side, making the dark side even stronger. Is that what it is? Okay, let's go. God, Luke, you look awful, dude. So from this point on, Luke has one hand? I'll be back. <gasps> oh, wait, what? I thought she just kissed him. Leia, I cannot read you! Ready for light speed. Does not sound good. It's not my fault! Han said that and Mustache said that. It's not my fault about fixing the hyperdrive or whatever the hell. Don't do it. Why didn't you tell me? Because you're gonna be tempted to go with him. Luke, it is your destiny. Why didn't you tell me? Okay, Luke, you can focus on why he didn't tell you later. Now it's time to act. You don't know how to fix that hyperdrive. <laughs> Let's go. Goldman, it is not as important for you to have two legs as it is for y'all to get the fuck out of there. We're ready for takeoff. Good luck, Mando. I'll meet you at the rendezvous point on Tatooine. Go find her. <laughs> what, now you're gonna start making out with Luke? Cause Han's not there. Ow. Oh, nice, he's got a new hand. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> His hand moves down to her ass. <laughs> She's like, no. Damn. Dude, this movie was so good for so many reasons. Like, I, I think the reason that I like this so much more than the, the first one, or the fourth one is because it was just more well done. And, and I'll explain what I mean. I feel like the plot of this movie was a lot more intricate and complicated than the first one. Episode four had like a real simple plot and it kind of felt like it dragged on just a little bit. This one, the plot was a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more intense, but it wasn't like, overly complicated. And I feel like a lot of later MCU movies are kind of like that, where it's just like a convoluted plot where you're like, what the fuck is going on? It was a very clear plot, but it was more complicated than episode four. So there's that. And and now I'm starting to get to the point where it's like, I understand the characters a little bit more, or I'm, I'm more used to them. So now we're not even 
being introduced to the characters, but we're starting the arc. Every character is developing. So you have Luke, who's not this badass hero yet, but he's going through training. He's getting better at what his craft is. So there's that, right? We're starting to develop the character arcs, which is really cool. I don't know what the hell is happening with Leia. I thought it was gonna be Leia and Luke in episode four. Episode five is Leia and Han. I, I, I don't know what the hell is going on, but you got some romance fizzling up. You got some, a little bit of, Whatever that is. Oh, and the, the I am your father. That is something that I have heard. Like I've definitely heard that line being spoken before. I guess I just never really thought about what the hell it was. And then before I started onto this journey, for some reason that just wasn't something that entered my brain in terms of things that I've considered or thought about, which is that Darth Vader is Luke's father. So it was like this weird moment for me of something that I had heard, but brand new information, but the realization that I have heard that, so it's not brand new information, but I now understand the context. So realistically, it's the first time I'm hearing it, but it's not the first time I'm hearing it. You know what I'm saying? So all in all, I had like a crazy plot twist there. And then I don't know. I think that it definitely progressed the story in terms of the logical sequential following movie of, of episode four. Episode five, it develops the characters, it develops the plot, it develops the story. But I feel like as a standalone, this movie is really good too. You take it out of the series and you just watch it for what it is. And it's a fantastic movie. So I'm impressed, dude. I, I literally just want to dive so much further into this series. I'm going to be reacting to these movies every other week just to give us some opportunity to watch some one-off movies and get some differentiation on the channel. But I am so stoked to continue this series. I hope you guys are too. I hope you're enjoying yourselves because I am, dude. If you guys are 1% as happy and as excited and stoked as I am to watch these movies, it's going to be a fucking journey. And I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace!